Welcome to June's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is count complete tree nodes. Given a complete binary tree, count the number of nodes. In a complete binary tree, every level except possibly the last is completely filled. And all nodes in that last level are as far left as possible. For example, we're given a binary tree like this. This is complete because every level is completely filled except for the last one where it's only filled um, three. So it'd be one minus. First approach might be just to count up all the nodes. So that'd be a big O of N solution, right? And that I uh, wasn't sure would work, but all you need to do is just do a pre-order tree traversal and say, we'll return zero if there's no node. Otherwise, we'll return the pre of node.left plus pre of node.right plus the current node. And we can just do that and say, return the pre of root. And that's just gonna do a pre-order traversal, counting up all the nodes, and that does get accepted. So that surprised me. But obviously, given the question, surely there's a better solution, right? And there is. Let's look at the complete binary tree and think about what we can take advantage of um, given the characteristics of a complete binary tree. So the first thing to think about is what if it was completely balanced, right? Not only is it complete, it's a balanced binary tree. So every level is filled. Well, if that was the case, all we would need to know is the height of the tree. Here, the height of, would be three, and we can use the equation two to the power of the height, here it would be three, um, subtract by one. And that's gonna automatically give us the number of nodes. So it's height of three, Two to the power of three is eight minus one, so that's seven nodes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that makes sense. Um, that's just the way a binary tree is structured. But the problem here is we can have situations where it's incomplete, it's or it's unbalanced. It's complete, but it's unbalanced. So how can we figure out how many nodes are at the last level without having to go through the entire binary tree? Okay, well, let's think about how we can get the height first. All we need to do is traverse the tree through the left side, and that's going to give us the height. Because of the way the tree is structured, all the nodes are um, as far left as possible at the last level. That's going to be the greatest height we can get, right? So here would be one, two, three. We know that. And in order to decide whether the tree is balanced or not, how about we just traverse through the right side? Because if the left height is greater than the right height, we know that it's unbalanced. Otherwise, if they're equal to one another, we know this is balanced, so we can just use this equation to get the number of nodes. But so say that we figure out, okay, it's unbalanced, now what? Well then, how about we start breaking up this problem and creating some sub-problems? Check, how about check the left subtree and then check the right subtree? Because if you look at that, you'll see that the left subtree of this binary tree is balanced, right? So we can use this function here to return the number of nodes at this subtree and just recall that algorithm recursively at this point and call the left subtree and right subtree again and again until we get to the point where it's not balanced, which is gonna be um, returning to us the number of nodes automatically. And that's gonna give us the total nodes. And that sounds really complicated, but it's actually better than big O of N because we'd be doing a log N getting um, the heights multiplied by log n, right? Because we'd be doing the height multiplied by the number of subproblems, which is again, log n. So that would be a log n times log n time complexity, which is better than O of n. All right, so let's start writing this out. The first thing we wanna do is, well, if not root, then we'll just return zero because there's, there's nothing there. Uh, otherwise, we wanna get the height through the left side and the height through the right side to check if this is a balanced binary tree or not. So let's create some helper methods and I'll call this L height, which is the left height. And we'll pass in a node and we'll say same thing. If not node, return zero. Otherwise we're gonna return one plus L height, but only through the left side. Now in the same way, I'm gonna write a, another helper method, but for this one, do it on the right side. And nothing's really different except we'll be calling only the right node. So now that we have um, our left and right height, 
here we can just call the root and our height the root as well now we have the heights we can check to see is this balanced or not is this tree balanced or not and if the l equaled r then it's balanced and we can use our function that we what that we figured out uh, to get the number of nodes right two to the power of the height it can be l or r it doesn't matter uh, minus one that's going to be the number of nodes but what if it's not then we have to recall this um, function and check the subtrees, right? So that's more important. Um, let's say if the other condition is true, if the left is greater than the right, and that's the only other possible condition. Right can never be bigger than left, given how the um, bounce tree is structured, right? So this would only happen if it's equal to one another. Otherwise, let's divide this up into subproblems. So what we do is return one for our current node, and we'll check the same function, but for the subtrees. So the um, root dot left, and we'll see how many nodes are there, and we'll do it for the other side as well. The right subtree, root dot right. So let's see if this works, and that gets accepted. Yeah. So it kind of is a rethinking of how you might go about solving this problem because log n times log n isn't the most intuitive. But when you start thinking about how we can break this up into more and more smaller problems, realizing that, oh, at the left subtree, we can figure out if it's balanced or not, or the right subtree, figure that out, then this becomes a little bit easier. So hopefully that helps. Um, all right, thank you.